Hello and welcome back, all my Dragon Ball theorists. We knew all along that Beerus wasn't who he is supposed to be if you've been a subscriber and following the content on this channel over the last few months. So now with overwhelming evidence that Mirus is an angel from the last Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 54, where it ended with Whis and the Grand Priest talking about Mirus and the laws of angels, this has brought up a lot of fan theories and ideas in the community that deserves a video discussing this topic. Now for today, I wanted to tackle a few of the most popular ideas that I see from all of you in the comments and also readdress an idea on if Mirus actually helped Moro escape from the galactic prison, setting this whole arc in motion. Is there some connection with Mirus and Moro, and do they have a hidden alliance? Or another compelling idea is Mirus is just filling out an order put in place by the Grand Priest, and this is just another test of the gods. Today, we are going to try and come up with an answer to these questions and find out just who Mirus' loyalties are with. First, I want to thank everyone so much for the ongoing support because of you. We cruised right past the 50,000 subscriber mark last week, and if you've been watching content on this channel, I'm going to try the best I can to hopefully not have any of this information seem too repetitive. But we also have a lot of new people joining the channel recently with how popular the manga is and wanted to cover all the ideas that I've been reading in the comments from everyone. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching and keeping me inspired to continue to create content. Also, I wanted to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel as well and mention two videos that goes into details of the evidence and theories we are about to cover if you haven't watched those yet. The problem is I released these videos already a while ago on Mirus being an angel and that Moro is his god of destruction, which is probably the most popular comment I'm reading recently from everyone. So if you haven't watched them yet, check out the Mirus True Identity video, and then I did a story explaining just how Mirus could be Moro's angel in the video Mirus Betrays Goku, The Ominous Plan, which is pinned on my YouTube channel. Since the most popular comment recently is that Mirus could be Moro's angel, I already have a video for you to watch and didn't want to retell that story at this time. Now on to some of the other ideas and comments that leads to the topic of this video today. Since Mirus is an angel, and technically he is supposed to be neutral, did he actually help Moro escape from prison? Did Mirus believe that releasing Moro upon the universe would create balance and it is a neutral act? If so, what gives Mirus the right to do this? He is really stepping on Whis' toes, and I can't help but think that Whis does feel some type of way about the entire situation. This is his universe, and he takes his job extremely serious. We just saw how serious Whis is about it after saying to the Grand Priest, I presume you are aware that our universe is once again in discord. It seems that way. Universe 7 is a restless one. Whis responded with he is deeply ashamed for it. He feels responsible as the guide and representative of Universe 7. That its current state is all his fault. Whis is taking responsibility, but I think realistically, maybe on the low, he feels that the recent events in Universe 7 could be a tiny bit the Angel Mirror's fault. I mean, can you blame him? Which is why he went to the Grand Priest. I'm gonna do a poll. Do you think Whis is upset or jealous of Mirus and see what you think? Now in my last video on the Angel Laws, we covered how Mirus could train Goku and still be neutral. In fact, we don't know who Mirus' loyalties are with and he could have also freed Moro upon the universe. I think many of us fans want Mirus to be from a previously erased universe and that this is an arc or story we want explored. Then if he is an angel, well by angel laws he needs to be a servant to a god of destruction. And Moro the Planet Eater is arguably better at the role than Lord Beerus. I like the idea, which is why I already wrote a story around that, but I don't think Toriyama is going to take us in that direction. I would love if he would, but there is likely another reason why Mirus has appeared and why he freed Moro. Yes, there is a hidden alliance, but it isn't with Moro, and in fact it is with the Grand Priest, which is why he is aware of him and his actions already in Universe 7. Some people are curious as to why did we seem surprised that the Grand Priest knows of Mirus? I mean, isn't that why he is in that position to begin with? Yes and no. The Grand Priest isn't this all-seeing omniscient being like Zuno is. The fact is, the Grand Priest or any of the angels wouldn't know about something going on unless an event happens that causes them to investigate with their staff. The huge fight on Namek when Moro was fighting Goku and Vegeta where the planet's life force drop caused Whis to start watching. If it wasn't for that event, he wouldn't have even discovered Mirus who joined the fight against Moro. Also, each universe has angels to observe and govern over it. 
So it really isn't a concern for the Grand Priest what happens in Universe 7. So it is even less likely that he would be aware of what is going on unless he is watching events unfold for very specific reasons. When Goku brought the future Zeno to the timeline so our current Zeno would have a friend, the Grand Priest wasn't aware of it and asked Whis if it was his idea. Which of course it wasn't, it was Goku's idea and that is when the Grand Priest said, I envy Universe 7 that at some point, he plans to visit it. Well, this could be all the reason enough that now the Tournament of Power is over with, instead of visiting Universe 7 himself, he tasks someone else with the job of going undercover as a mortal. Someone that could act on his behalf, and the Grand Prix could watch things unfold and see how the mortals of Universe 7 he envies handles the situation. It's a very plausible idea since the Grand Priest can't exactly take time off of his job of serving two Zenos and had this splendid vacation in Universe 7. So the perfect way around that is if he appoints an angel to go undercover in Universe 7 and set in motion some events to test the mortals, and he can sit back and watch. Some might think this is kinda messed up, but if you've been around for millions of years, it's got to get boring. So creating some havoc and sitting back with your feet up, eating some popcorn and watching is probably just what the Grand Priest needs to keep him entertained. So the Grand Priest asked Mirus to meet him at Zeno's palace and tasked him with the job to spend time blending in with the mortals by enrolling into the Galactic Patrol. That way he could see what Universe 7 is like, the good and the bad. The Grand Priest also knew that Moro was a feared enemy of Universe 7 millions of years ago, so he asked Mirus to free him to create a situation that would require Goku and Vegeta to handle. This is why after Moro escaped, or I should say was set free, Mirus then went to Earth because he knew that is where Goku and Vegeta are, and kidnapping Boo was just a trap to knock them out and bring them along. This is why it would help their cause. This will give the Grand Prix something to watch and see how they handle this difficult enemy. This is why Mirus never captured Moro or used his full power. There had to be some reason why Mirus, who is obviously an angel and is training Goku to unlock Ultra Instinct, that he wouldn't have just apprehended Moro himself. So when you go back and read all the chapters over again, it starts to make sense. Mirus is just a pawn sent to Universe 7 on behalf of the Grand Priest to stir things up. The problem is, Whis doesn't know about any of this, and he is going to find out now from his father at Zeno's palace. To answer the question, is Mirus an angel acting on his own free will, breaking the laws of angels? No, no he isn't. And this all makes logical sense since it's impossible for an angel to act on their own free will. They can only exist in the mortal world to fulfill their purpose of serving a god of destruction. Without a god to serve, their function is suspended and they return to the great beyond. However, like the Tournament of Power, there are special case situations where the angels were allowed to exist after their god of destruction was erased because of the Grand Priest. So here again, we have another special situation where Mirus can exist without a god to serve, since he is acting on behalf of the Daishinkan himself. I actually don't know if it would even be possible for an angel to break the laws they are bound to, which is why Whis was confused and asked for an emergency meeting with his father. He wanted to question the angel laws because as he understands them, Mirus can't exist. So I don't think that we will ever have a rebellion or anything of that sort from anyone that fills a divine role like the angels. Now tell me, what do you think? Is it possible the Grand Prix sent Mirus to Universe 7 so he could watch and observe the actions of mortals? One more test for them since he envies that universe and wants to see how they react to a difficult situation. Or do you think Mirus has an alliance with someone else? That Mirus is indeed acting on his own behalf, freed Moro, and has his own agenda that should cause alarm with the gods? I always love to hear your thoughts and theories in the comments below and want to thank everyone for leaving these comments for all us fans to discuss. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it and smash that like button. Also, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell to keep those theories coming.